This is the uh, my play on uh, pheasant tail nymph. This is a mustard S82 nymph sprout. This is a size 8. I'm tying it a little larger than usual uh, just to make it easier to see. So firstly we just cover the hook shank with tying thread. Get rid of this like so. And go back a little bit. Although this is recognisable as a pheasant tail, it's it's a little different. It's a, it's a variant that I've developed over the years. But when it comes to pheasant tail, you really want the centre cock tail feathers. These are fabulous, longest fibres and more than likely the best markings as well. So what we want to do for the tail is we want to pull the fibres out like this so all the points are level on the, all the tips. There you go, nice bunch of fibres. And it wants to be a little shorter than the length of the hook shank. So, and then we can go along the body. This will help build up the underbody as well. But you don't want to go much further than that. You want room at the front to finish everything off. So we can just cut that off. There, trim that away. Okay, we'll go back here. But so far, then we need some copper wire. This is the uh, this is a varnished vineyard copper wire. Let's tie this in all the way down to the tail base. Just about there. And go back up and secure all that. Okay, back to the pheasant tail again. Now we want a, a nice bunch of long fibres. These should be the longest fibres that you've got on your tail. Now it's important that when we're winding this in we don't want to see the underside. We want the overside of the uh, pheasant tail fibres to be on the outside of the body because this will give the nicest result. I just want to whip that down correctly. Nice and tight. Take it right into the tail base. There we go. Take it up there again. Now, when we're wrapping this, we want to wrap it hand over hand so we get the outside of the pheasant tail fibres all the time. So you can go around once. You can hold that down with your finger and let go, if need be, just to position it correctly. And again, around, again, and you want to shorten each turn a little so the body gets a little bit thicker as it gets towards I can just take that back to there now the thorax okay I think that will do us so we'll just tie that off there excellent that'll do us fine Take this down to that position again and just trim that up. Okay, tie down the ends. And of course, if you want to weight this, you can put some weight in there now, or you can just use the copper wire. Now, you see that I've wound the pheasant tail clockwise, 
Now I want to go anti-clockwise with this copper wire. Try and space each turn nicely. You want four or five turns. There we go. Now once again, I can go back with this. Tighten up that. and just winkle that off okay next step again we want a nice bunch of fibers here I'll just take one of these this has to be quite a, a wide bunch because this is going to be the wing case so we don't want to see again the underside so once I've cut this I let's get rid of that one fold these over like so then we'll just tack these in tight into the abdomen Go forward, and I want to trim these off like so, and back to the abdomen, and then we need for this size 8 I'll use 3 peacock curls and just trim off the ends. You tie these in with the butt end of the peacock curl there we go tie it in and bring your tying thread forward and again hand over hand with these you want the fibres of the hull to really stick out 90 degrees and a taper towards the head. There we go. Tie this down. A couple of turns in front. Remove those. Now we want another these can be shorter fibres. We want another little bunch of fibres for the legs. So I want one bunch there, and I like these legs to go back quite a way. there, take another bunch about the same distance back and that bunch there so just tuck these in put the turns under Trim that off. Oops, I took one of the legs there. Now, put your tying thread back into where we got the legs and pull over the wing case. Let's just have a look. I need to separate these fibres a little bit here. There we go. Pull over the wing case. Make a couple of turns. There we are. T 
to whip finish. Remove the tying thread. And I like to trim this off if I turn that around. Just so it has a little head, just a couple of millimetres. Like that. One leg there I don't like. There, I don't like. There we are, just trim that down a little bit more. And that's my play on the pheasant tail nymph.